Good afternoon, welcome to the shed. So today we're going to be building the aprons. In fact, I've already built one. I did one as a practice just to see how to lay it all out. Um, if you've watched Paul Seller's video, you'll notice, or you'll know, uh, that the construction is done via a wedge system. So uh, it's hard to explain this, but the, on the back of the apron, the leg lines against here, and then a wedge is knocked in basically pull everything square and make sure everything's nice and tight to stop it wobbling presumably. Um, so I've got a table saw so I didn't have to cut these by hand so I used a wedging system so I used a wedge on my cross cut sled to get the angle for the wedges so I've managed to cut four pretty much identical wedges and also the corresponding angles on the middle pieces. So the easiest way to explain this because I'm not doing a very good job of this so far is to show you laid out on the board so let's do that so this is the inside of the apron as it were um, the bench top fits along in this gap here so I have measured these inner parts so this is the outer part of the uh, of the apron and this is the inner part of the apron so I have measured this in this is nine inches so that's where the leg will sit uh, I won't pull the leg in because it's quite big but if you imagine this is the leg that will sit against there and then one of my wedges will slide in here against this central piece of the inner apron so basically the harder I tap that in the tighter that leg will be locked that's the theory as I say I've already done one it's come out quite good um, the only thing I had to make sure is that so basically I'm lining up from the top Got to make sure everything is from the top down. The bottom doesn't matter. As long as everything's in line on the top, we'll be good. So this distance here is the width of the top. I've actually got the top underneath here, plus about an eighth of an inch or a couple of mil. That means that once the apron is fitted, it will be slightly proud of the top of the bench, which means that I can plane the apron down to the bench and not have to plane the bench down to the apron which would be a pain in the ass. Okay so first thing to do is lay this out we're going from this end the other end uh, I, won't, I won't be able to show you the other end because I haven't got room for the camera but I can do do one end so we're going to screw and glue as we go. Okay, let's drill the holes. These little measuring blocks are really good. You can sort of stack them up and get, get dimensions really easy. I've only got a couple, but I need to get some more. You can screw them together as well, I believe. I'm just using them to make sure that I'm exactly in the uh, middle of the corners. You don't have to do this, this will be invisible, but you know, might as well get it right, mind you. to be careful when I put my vise on to remove the screws in that area when I do the middle bit. As long as I remember I'll be alright. So I'm using this as I say to line up the top. Do my nail alignment trick. Should have done that, shouldn't I? This could slide now, couldn't it? Let's give it a little bit of grip.
Okay, so that one is in place. Ooh. Hopefully everything's nice and square. Beautiful. Excellent. Okay, so I'll do the other end and then I'll come back and show you how I do the middle. Okay, so done the two ends. What we do, let's get one of our legs. Oh God, it's gonna be heavy, this bench. And then that butts up against there. That gives us our measurement for our wedge, like so. And then this basically needs to marry up kind of near enough. However, obviously the wedge will take up any slack. So I'm now just going to shift that to the other end and make sure that it lines up down there as well. Let me just clamp this in place. Okay, I'll just check the other end and then we've got our position for our pieces. Okay, that all lines up at the other end as well. Obviously with the wedges you can at least shimmy the, uh, shimmy, shim the legs if they're slightly off. That's the beauty of this system. I presume that's the reason for this system. Okay, so I will put some glue on here, glue it and screw it. overlap at the bottom which is fine. Do that with the plane. Slide it that way just a smidge. Okay, so that went really well. Uh, I've got a bit of space, and that's because I've set the bench up outside. We have got a freestanding bench. I'll take you outside and have a look. It's pretty exciting to me anyway. Look at that sexy beast. Pretty much square. A bit of trimming up to be done on these sideboards, which I knew I, I left it long on purpose because I was more worried about it coming up short. That's obviously only sitting in there, so that's got to be screwed into position. Honestly, that's bloody beautiful. So this is how the wedges work. I don't know if you can see this. So this wedge just taps in and just locks against that end piece. Looking good. So now I need to clear the shed, make some proper space, and then we'll screw it all together properly. At the moment, it's just held together by the wedges. So, um, yeah, so there will be some bolts on the side here. So that'll basically cinch it all up nice and tight. But I might just screw it into position uh, just when I build it the first time, ready to do all my clean up and the glue up, because I've got to do the, the well board and then there's a runner along each side of this, which makes that a little bit wider. Um, and then there's a couple of bits underneath. There's a uh, uh, sort of bearer that goes along there, just sort of uh, stops the uh, wellboard from bouncing up and down, I presume. Okay, there she is. And then of course, we've got to finish it as well. Okay, good stuff. Oh, and here's the cat, just to say hello and have a little look. Okay, thanks very much for watching. As usual, I'll link to the playlist here and you can subscribe there. I'm holding the bench top steady so it doesn't all wobble. I'm not just being a bit of a poser. My hair's looking a bit uh, locked down. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. See you soon.